Welcome to an Insider Special Report. It's Junior Day coming up this weekend, Mighty Joe. I'm Jared Johnson, and I'm joined by the Mighty Joe Yeager. Joe, Junior Day, what does that mean to you? Uh, guys covered the program, uh, followed college football for decades. Well, what is a uh, Junior Day? Does it mean anything to you or much to you or, or not? <laughs> you know, uh, it's, uh, you know, I've, I've been following college football for a long time yeah. now. And so relative to all the time that I've been doing this, this is a relatively new innovation, you know? Uh, so it's, it's uh, a little bit uh, of a new thing in some ways. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, I guess to me, it's, it's more or less with a lot of these prospects that they're looking at, you really, I mean, it's, you're really kind of testing the waters. I mean, these guys, you just really don't know usually at this early stage how good they're going to be. I mean, there's still an awful lot of time for them to develop. So you're, it seems to me that you're just kind of throwing darts out there a little bit to a certain extent, hoping that you hit home with some of this stuff. And uh, if you do, uh, and you make a good impression with some of these guys, then obviously you've got, you're ahead of the curve on them and these guys develop and you're like, all right, we got something here and you can really get your class going if you uh, target the guys well at this early stage. So that's kind of the way I look at it. Yeah, and I think the throwing dart thing is a really good analogy, is, especially for Texas Tech. Some of the other programs in the Big 12, uh, these kids are closer. They can just get out of bed. It's a day trip, you know, more of a, more of a deal. Texas Tech, you got to really be invested for some of these guys. But on the other hand, there are, there's actually several local guys in attendance. We have the full, well, we have several listed. We expect dozens, uh, maybe even as, as many as 50. We have over 20, uh, getting close to 30 by the time this runs, uh, already confirmed on the list, uh, on the board. But there's some local guys, Joe, that are going to be in attendance too. I think it's a really good couple of classes for local kids. I think there's some some more talent here in West Texas, and I know we wanted to highlight each highlight one. Who's the guy you want to highlight? Who's expected to be in attendance this weekend for Junior Day, Joe? Well, you know, coincidentally, it's kind of a local guy, yeah. uh, the receiver for Mid Midland. Uh, Midland uh, yeah, 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 Loic Fwangi. I'm not, that's what I'm. Uh, Chucking out there. I hope I got that right. As good as I can do. Yeah. So uh, if it's not, then well, hey, I apologize. Uh, but regardless, uh, the guy really looks like a good prospect. I mean, about 6'4, 185. Uh, you know, when I look at him, he reminds me of a little bit. I see the way he maneuvers in traffic and is really good in tight space. Reminds me a little bit of Kiki Kuti. Wow. The way he moves with that Except quickness bigger. and the quick feet. <laughs> but he's bigger, and I tell you, uh, when he gets the ball, I like the way he gets up field very, very quickly. And in that regard, he reminds me of somebody who recently joined the Texas Tech football staff, picker and a punter too. Wow. Go I figure that. that. That's huh. right. That's okay. right. Now, I don't know if he's, uh, you know, Big 12 class kicker and a punter, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have somebody like that. I mean, the worst comes to worst, your punter or your kicker gets hurt, you can throw. Uh, speaking of another guy who I think is talented, he's unrated, but he's already up to five offers, uh, LB Moore out of Amarillo, Tascosa. Uh, he's a, the, the hybrid defensive end, outside linebacker type. He's about 6'4". He's listed at 220. He looks more like 210, to be honest. He's very athletic. Uh, he shows surprising strength. Uh, he pushes some of those 300-pound uh, Amarillo kids and some of the guys they face uh, like around like ragdolls, even though he's you know obviously undersized there. Uh, I really like his athleticism. I wrote a story about him earlier in the week. Uh, you know He's going to be, like I said, a junior day. I think he's going to be a high three-star by the time it's all said and done. He holds offers from Tech, Baylor, uh, let's see, Purdue, um, and a couple other schools, Kansas, uh, and Air Force. Those are his offers as of right now. Uh, so he's already on his way despite being underrated uh, by all the services. I think that's just because he's in Amarillo. Like I said, I think he's going to end up a highly rated guy. And I think Texas Tech is a good shot, but I mean, they're going to have to recruit him hard. And uh, I think they have a really good opportunity uh, to make an impression this weekend. Of course, I think he's already actually played a playoff game at the Jones. So, he, I mean, he's a West Texas guy. He's very familiar with the program. And he's told me he likes Texas Tech. But at the same time, I mean, just because you're from the backyard doesn't mean you're going to stay in your, your backyard. You know, they're going to have to recruit him hard. They're going to have to win him over. And uh, like I said, I, I think they have a very good opportunity to uh, make, a, make a good impression this weekend. So we'll see how it goes. We'll have visitor reactions for you on the board uh, Sunday, several Sunday and Monday. And, uh, of course, uh, for the latest on both Fuanji. Is that what we're going with? Yeah, we're going. Fuanji and LB Moore's recruitment stay on InsideTheRedRaiders.com. Thank you, Joe. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.